get that, you have to be good at everything. Teaching, research, and service. And that's what I'm going to say Dana is, that she's excellent in the classroom and outside the classroom. Even though she's not a faculty member, I'm going to tell you how she meets the same criteria that Ray McCarroll um, did. In terms of service, she was secretary of the Council of the whole class of 2013 this year. And one of the things that she worked on in relationship to that is the class gift. And if you get anything from what I'm saying today, go to the union and be sure that you see the new stained glass window that's on the main floor um, in the archway uh, between a new part of the building and the old part of the building. It's in three parts and it makes one picture. It's gorgeous. And um, Dana did a lot of work towards that. She was also co-president of the Student Women's Association. And uh, for example, this spring was the narrator in the Vagina Monologues. She served as a volunteer for Spruce Run, which is the oldest domestic violence shelter in Maine. And they make the argument in the United States. So she's volunteered for them. And she's in the Lambda Pi Eta Honor Society. And it was in the Honor Society that she also has gotten some teaching experience, even as an undergraduate. She was a tutor for one of our core gateway um, classes this spring. In the fall before, she was an undergraduate teaching assistant for another course in the major. So even as an undergraduate, she's contributed to teaching. In terms of research, our students do research in class, but again, what distinguishes Dana is she does that outside of class, too. She was a volunteer last summer for uh, the Barnard Center for Research on Women and kept, did a blog um, for them. She's a lab assistant research a research assistant for the lab for the School of Biology and Ecology here at Maine because her minor is biology. And she also did some research um, with me uh, this spring. Next year, she's going to go to Portugal, get some more research and other experience. She's already in contact with professors in Portugal to see if they've got um, something she can work on while she's there. Uh, so I think we have here a future Professor. <laughs> I want to say that I've loved every minute of working with her. She's intellectually curious. She's really committed to equality and social justice. She has a whole battery, a whole array of communication competencies, and you can always count on her. Um, she's going, but we agreed we are going to uh, do a reading list together and keep reading together. <laughs> so, Thank you so much. Like say any glowing words about your professor? She's amazing. She's amazing. Yeah. And she inspired me to
questions to each of you are the members of the class of 2013. Do not forget your alma mater, as you're always a part of the Black Bear Nation. Okay, how does it feel to be a new graduate? It feels great because I'm getting lots of cards and everything. But, <laughs> I don't want but, to right it feels the love. <laughs> but, but I don't feel like I just graduated college. It feels surreal. Because we're still just chilling in our kitchen like we do every day. So, yeah. <laughs> And I'm wearing my dress and sweatpants yeah. and some slippers. Paul's graduate right here, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> It was really fun. Because I was with Paige, but it was long. Yeah. And you were hungry. Yeah, and I was hungry, yeah. The speeches were great. I loved Emma's they speech. They were good speeches. They were short. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, uh. <laughs> yeah, I thought her speech was good. It was great. Yeah, Emma, Emma was in my women's studies class, so I knew her. You don't have to change the world, just give it a nudge. Yeah, that was really cool. Yeah. That's sick. This is from Sam and Ali.
Hi. Hello, how are you? Good, good.